How to upload files and rearrange elements in a course page. In this video, we will give you an overview of the basic template for a course page and we will show how to upload files and rearrange elements in the course page. Remember, the default role of teachers in a course page is a teacher basic role or a teacher with an asterisk. This means that you are using the streamlined version of Ovlet. A newly created course page will follow a basic course template. The basic course template looks like this. Starting from the top, from left to right, you will see the following. An upgrade button. Click this button if you want to permanently upgrade your role to Teacher Advanced role and access the complete features of Ublet. Please note that users cannot undo the upgrading of roles. Make sure that you are already familiar with Ublet when you upgrade your role. You will see the Turn On Editing button. You must click this button if you want to upload a file, rearrange elements within a course page, or set up a new activity. The basic course template has three columns. The first and third columns contain preset ovlet blocks, while the middle part is where we put files, resources, and activities. Teachers with Teacher Advanced role can freely remove and add ovlet blocks within a course page. Users with a Teacher Basic role cannot remove or add blocks but they can put them on the side by clicking this button. In the leftmost column, we have the Activities block. It summarizes the content of the course page. This also has a feature that allows students to download all or multiple files at once. Search Forums block. Uh, it allows users to, dis to search discussion threads within any basic forum activity. In the rightmost column, we have the following. Latest Announcements block, which is related to the Announcements forum. Upcoming Events block, it highlights upcoming deadlines events in the calendar. An assignment will appear in this block if its deadline is within 21 days. Recent Activities block, this allows teachers to monitor who recently visited the page, who recently submitted an assignment, etc. Um, while this also allows students to see the recent updates, changes among the resources, activities in the course page. In the middle part, we have the Announcements Forum. Only teachers can post in this forum, but students can reply to this post. Everyone is subscribed to this forum, which means they receive email notifications every time there's a new post or a new reply. Below, we can find several topic sections. This is where we upload files or put activities. For example, we can strategize such that each topic section is a learning module. How to change topic section titles and descriptions. First, we have to be in edit mode. To switch to edit mode, just click turn on editing. This is the edit mode. To change the topic title, simply click the pen icon beside the topic title. Type the new title and press enter. Don't forget to press enter. You have to press enter to save changes. If you want to add a description to the topic section, simply click edit link to the right of the title, then choose edit topic. A text box will appear where you can type the description. Remember that you can be creative with your description. You may just put text, or you may embed a photo, a video, an audio material as part of the description. For example, I typically just type the specific learning objectives of the learning module in the description. You may simply type the learning objectives, or you may add some video or photos to uh, supplement the description. The simplest way to add an image or video in a text box is to drag and drop the file 
to the text box, which I will demonstrate here. So make sure that your photos are not too big so that they will be uh, easily embedded in the text box. Finally, click Save Changes. Next, if you want to rearrange topic sections, simply hold the Move icon. and drag and drop the topic section to a new position. Next, how to upload a file. It is very easy to upload a file. First, always remember that you can't add or remove files when you're not in edit mode. You will know that you're in edit mode if you see these icons like um, the move icon, the edit link, add an activity or resource. This means that you are in edit mode. Uh, to upload a file, simply drag and drop the file from the folder to the topic section where you want to put it. Okay, so wait for it to upload. When it finishes, sometimes you have to uh, reload the page. Similarly, uh, it works the same with uh, media files, but for media files, there's an additional step. You will be asked by Uwe uh, to choose between add media to course page or create file resource. These options will affect the final appearance of the uploaded file. So for this case, I chose Add Media to Course Page. If you selected that option, the photo, audio, or video file will appear as an embedded media in the course page, just like this one. Let's try the other option, okay? So upload. If you choose Create File Resource, the photo, audio, or video file will appear as a clickable file resource just like the first file that we uploaded. Take note, currently the site upload limit is 50 MB per file, but there's no limit to the total storage space per course page. This shall encourage teachers to keep their files manageable for downloading. If uploading a file more than 50 MB is inevitable, the teacher may request for a higher upload limit via ILC Deliman Help Desk. However, we strongly discourage teachers to upload large files as students may have difficulties downloading or streaming the material. What else can you do in the course page? Well, you can rearrange elements, add description, hide or show resources. To rearrange elements in the course page, simply use the move icon just like what we did before. Drag and drop them in a new position. If you want to change the title of a file resource, Simply click the pen icon, type the new title, and press enter. If you want to add description to the file or learning material, just click Edit to the right of the file and choose Edit Settings. Similarly, there is a text box where you can type the description of the file. So don't forget to click Save Changes. Lastly, uh, teachers may hide a topic from the students. So to do that, simply click Edit and choose Hide. To unhide, uh, simply click Edit and choose Show. Okay. 
make sure to turn off editing once you're done uh, editing the course. To validate what students see in the course page, you can temporarily switch role. Simply hover your mouse on your name, choose switch role to, and choose student. This feature also allows you to temporarily switch to teacher advanced role, just in case you would like to explore uh, advanced features. So the teacher advanced role doesn't have an asterisk. So let's choose student. So this is the view of the student. To go back to your original role, go back to your name and choose return to normal role. So that ends this demonstration. If you have further questions or clarifications, um, open the ticket at ILC Dilemon Help Desk. Visit helpdesk.ilc.upd.edu.ph.